Okay, there you are. Okay. Oh, okay, you're there. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, you're not. Okay. Yes. Is it work? It's work. Oh, Holy shit. Gosh, that was a bit complicated. Wasn't it? it was good, though, because sure. when, when I went on to that just now, do you know what the temperature is here? What? For England. Have a guess. Well, I might. This is the problem: is that they've changed. We don't. It never has the impact you want it to because America decided to go rogue and change everything. So I don't. Well, it won't have the like, same impact. Okay, can you no, convert? My my um, screen. Because I think because it's American, convert is conver has converted it to American. Okay, now we can have a little fun. <laughs> okay, right here. So we are. shall I guess the temperature in American? No, guess the temperature here. Yes, but in American terms of temperature, best country on earth. Yes, yes, yes. All right, right. I'm going to guess not using the foolish metric system. No, okay. That. Okay. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Best yes. temperature ever, best country on earth. That's Can't right. Can't beat it. If it isn't, I'm going to shoot you. Put a boot up your ass. If you don't like Fahrenheit. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to guess that the temperature is 37. Mm -mm. Lower. I can tell it's lower. you got a bad poker face. Mm -hmm. You've got a royal flush. It's low. It's 20. Oh, because it's late at night. So I'll say it's 22. 25. 26. 26. Wow. It's wow. cold for him. That is cold, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's been a there's been a, a frost and fog all day that hasn't lifted. A frost and fog. Sounds like a Tim Burton film. Frost and fog. Yes, 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 it could be, couldn't it? Yes. yes. You don't know who the Tim snow. Burton is, do you? Uh, is he the one that did the snowman? No, not no, close though. He did like stuff like that. So you're close. I thought yes. you were completely making it up. So how no, have you no. been? We've had a couple of weeks away from pandemics. Yes. And uh, you've had your holiday. Did Father Christmas bring you everything that you wanted? He brought me everything I wanted plus more. Good. Wow. So yeah. full stocking this year. Yes, it was it was it was really good. What about you? He gave me everything that I hoped and dreamed for. He gave me a what vegan eggnog recipe and a lot of rum. Oh <gasps> so did you drink all the rum yet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope I, when I hope. when I go into dry January, I I go in. I make the emergency landing for the dry you, January. You skid and make a I my plane my plane is on fire and it hits the water and it goes I sully Sullenberger my dry <laughs> so January. How are you doing with your dry January? I've been drinking. No. Um good. I like it. I do enjoy it. It's a nice have you, drink. Have, out. have you had a drink at all? No, believe it or not, I've made it a full week. Because you did, you did cheat last year, didn't you? I think. Well, I my give memory. myself a cheat day. I get one cheat oh. day in the month of January. When's your cheat day? This year, it's going to be January twenty-first because we have a dollop show that night. So I want to have a little bit of alcohol after that. So. Ah, and will you have wine or will you have rum? I'll have wine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not making like my liquor bait. I'm not trying to be like a buccaneer as far as my yeah. drinking goes. I like wine, but. It was just that the vegan eggnog really ate the rum. It was it was a very enjoyable cocktail. Anyways, so you had a good time? Did you get yes. any potatoes? Uh, not from the field, no. They're, no, they're I, done now, right? The field is done for a little while. The field is done. And when I looked at it today, it's totally frozen over because we had, we've had snow too. Right, which is not and normal. I, I, well, I'm not, it, no, it isn't normal. And it's, I, I mean, it's just, it's very, very cold. And right. the snow. I can tell it's cold because you went, it's very, very cold. Yes, I, so did, you did. I did. The so you're also doing some ASL signing, which is nice. I did some shivering. Right. Sold it. Yes, yes. Right. So as long as you get, you know. So there's no, there's no potatoes for a little while. No, won't be too potatoes now until, um, ooh. Probably late summer, autumn. Oh my God. It's terrible. You I don't know what waste I'm away. Doing. I know, because I've got lots of bags ready. Ugh. I'm all prepared. Son of a bitch. Yeah, they've got mud in from the last lot, and I just, you know, I'm all ready. It's most disappointing. So your bags have caked in mud in them? Well, I shake, I've, I've, sh I've, sh sh I don't actually want to hear anymore. Is it shaken? 
I've shaken them out. Or, yes, or shaken. I, shaken works, yes. You don't need to keep searching. That's right, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Shaken. Anyway, I've given them a good shake. Okay. Um, okay, and did anything of consequence happen to you over the holiday? Was there anything interesting? Did you, what did you do for New Year's Eve? Did you make it to midnight on New Year's Eve? No, I no. went to bed probably about 10 o'clock. I, ha I did have, I had a little bottle of Frisonet on my own and I thought that that would be enough. And then I spoke to Hillary and by then I'd opened up some white wine. So I probably had my little tiny bottle of Frisonet and probably two glasses of white wine. And that was enough. You know, I, I remember, think, oh, go ahead. No, that's the last time I had a drink. How many days ago was that? I can't remember. Well, that's the same as me. Well, you're in dry January. I am um, in dry January. You know, one of the things I always remember about going to see your mother at the uh, nursing home before she passed away that I thought was so funny and we would always have a laugh about was how they would, around the holidays, give them these little bottles of wine and just basically let them get ripping drunk for the most part. Like they'd give them like three or four little bottles and then you just have all these people who have, you know, are various stages of uh, age who are, you know, getting closer and closer, uh, just nice and toasted, nice and drunk. Well, it was lovely at mum's place because um, a lot of elderly people like a glass of sherry or brandy at night. Yeah. And they always, they always respected that. And they would always give the people that wanted a glass of sherry. What are you fighting it for at that point? It's like, you, you should be allowed to do cocaine in those places. I mean, honestly, like at that point, they should just go, what do you want? Have at it. I, to I, I absolutely agree. And I think it was so funny because- I did not expect you to totally agree with what I just said, but I love it. <laughs> not the cocaine bit. No, you did, but, you um, totally agreed. But anyway, I remember mum um, when she wasn't very well and she would take painkillers and they wouldn't, they stopped, I think it was called cocodamol here. It was something anyway. And they stopped it because they said that um, elderly people might become addicted to it. Well, I mean- so what? Yeah, so what? Does it matter? Yeah. Let, let them become addicted. Yes, encourage addiction. I remember mum asking you to get us some of that um, marijuana. Do you remember? when? Because no. they're back. Yes, she did. She asked what, to get you, CBD? No, the real no, thing. Get, she. What did she want? Like a thing. pot, like something to rub on yeah. it? Or she wanted to actually eat it? No, she, she wanted to eat it, I think. She oh, heard that you could I eat it. I did not. If I had known this, you better believe. <laughs> I would have made that. Would, would you have been over on a plane? I would have figured it out. I would have gone to England and I would have, I wouldn't bring it to England, but I would have figured it out there. I'd have been like Betty Crocker in the kitchen, just slowly like glazing things and just putting like frosting on cakes for Nan's <laughs> weeding. <laughs> but I don't know whether when you got here, whether she, whether she probably would have backed out. I could have decided. just blow darted it into her neck. Yeah, you could have done. Yeah. And if, but, if you put it in a cake, she wouldn't yeah, have known. Exactly. Um, yeah. Okay, and uh, oh, go ahead. Do you have something else to say? Um, I was going to ask you what you've done today. Well, today's, usually... been, today's been very uninteresting. Don't you worry. What's your weather like? Uh, it's fine. It's not too bad. It's, not, it's mild, you know, not too bad. Are you looking at your um, phone again? Well, I thought what we could do, Sassy, is yes. um, we could uh, go through some comments from some pandemics. Oh, right. Okay. What have you thought of those? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Little thing to do before the pictures, hmm? Uh, well, yes. I know, I know the note from you has been, we need more planning with these, you feel. <laughs> no, I just thought we, we should perhaps have a theme, but we've got a theme now. Well, we don't have a theme. It's the, the theme is you, you're the theme. It's a hat on a hat. We don't need another theme. I it's think pandemics. No, you it just is. have trouble. You have trouble believing that you can be a theme. <laughs> Yes, I yes, think it's wrong. Exactly. All right, here we go. Oh, this is from the, well, that's the Christmas one. So let's do a different one. Let's do, uh, let's do this one. This is, this is one with Nigel. Yes. Pam doesn't believe in land ownership and it's inspiring and brilliant. That's over you taking the potatoes. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, I love it when my weekends start with some pandemic. Thanks. I will say a number of people reached out because we didn't do one of these for a couple of weeks and said how much they missed him. Oh. I need as much confidence in my daily life as your mother has stealing potatoes. I fully support her. I want to be Pam when I grow up. Scrumping. Oh, I love her. Your family is a delight. 
Another visit with Pam. Can't wait to watch. I loved your expression when Nigel was talking trains, though I understand about half of it. We <laughs> laugh at our parents' is absurd, absurd behavior, but the truth is they have all these worked out and are wilier than we think. They have all these things worked out and they're wilier than we think. So you're mm -hmm. wily. So see, people appreciate your potato theft. You're what starting is a movement. Wily? What's wily? Wily, like uh, wild, kind of. Wild, yeah. yeah so. Okay, I like that. I like yeah. that. Okay, yeah, let's I, go through a couple more. You have anything, any response so far? Oh, well, I think it's very nice. I'm sure there must be some negative ones, though, but there we won't. No. There, there are no negative ones about you. <laughs> there's, I'm sure there are negative ones about me, but I'm sure there's, no, I, I've not seen any of that. It's fantastic <laughs> as always. This is one of my favorite things to come out of the pandemic. Your mom is so pretty. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Pam is literally the best, and I thank you for introducing her to us. Pam is a gem. Pam is the cutest. Will your mom adopt me? The two of you are fantastic. The reviews are in, mom. And you think That's we need a fucking theme. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, is, that, is this the uncle that overreacted to the pickle jar breaking? That is amazing that someone remembered that. That's one of the things. So that's yeah. one of the things that, like. It was ketchup. It was ketchup. It was ketchup. But. I have referred to it as pickles, and that's one of the things that is sort of always astounding about when you have recorded as many hours of content as I have just through talking, whether it be on the dollop or other podcasts, you just forget you've said stuff. Like mm -hmm. I've gone out with like, you know, I've gone out like on a date before with someone, you know, who like knows the podcast. You, go, you don't go on dates, do you? Not anymore. No, I gave you that are, up. You are careful, aren't you, when you're on a date? What does that even mean? Well, I just want you to be careful. What does that even mean? Don't over drink. Don't um, be disrespectful. What are you talking? What do you think? Just, I, just, am I like, just, you think I'm like a speakeasy owner? What kind of adjustment is this to give me? Be <laughs> respectful. I think you would be. You think I would be? You should have complete faith that I am. Open the door for the, for the, um, that's the, not how it works. I'm not like, I'm not like quality. no, I'm not picking the per I'm like meeting someone somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and the truth is that if I did end up seeing, I would open the door, but I would be, you know, in time, it would be, you know, yes. when it's yeah. appropriate. Well, you always, you open the door for me. Yeah. Because I know how, you, I know how worried you are about my <laughs> and then, manners. And then you push me out. Yeah. Yeah. And then I shut it on you. Yeah. And then I hit you on the back. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your fingers again. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. At the fingers again. Um, but what I was, what I was saying was that, you know, you, you like, you forget, you say things and then someone will bring them up and you'll be like, you know, I used to do kids birthday parties and someone will be like, I know. And you're like, Oh, uh, I might not have any more shit to say. <laughs> like I might be out of things to say, but it's amazing. This person remembers. Um, and this is also Maria Pendo. Who, uh, who made us a great uh, dollop intro video for the uh, election coverage we did. Uh, and it is fantastic. I never liked a stranger so quickly. That's you. Oh my God, Uncle Nigel is delightful. Uh, <laughs> his laugh at the end is almost like Dave's. This is Nigel. Poor Gary's been suffering under unwanted nicknames his whole life, <laughs> which is true. Um, let's just do a couple more. This is an earlier one. Oh, Passenger Shaming, which is actually a very big Instagram account. She is a former flight attendant who started a, a thing where people share crazy things from planes. It's amazing. She's awesome. And she says, Pam, <laughs> your mom sounds like she's from London. And I said, I replied to this one. Uh, she also had elocution lessons, as she will tell you. So you did have elocution lessons and you loved I that. Did. I did. Your I did options, it. Tell me what elocution means. Uh, well, it just means, I, I'm not sure what the exact interpretation is, but I mean, it, we were taught to speak properly. You were taught the Queen's English. Essentially. The Queen's English. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And so, your options were you could either do the Queen's English elocution lessons or have swimming lessons. Yes. And my brother, who thought he was drowning one day, his wife called out to him. You remember that story better than I do, I think. And he, and she called out and she said, well, swim. And he said, I can't. I can't. 
No, I can't remember now. But he didn't get cut that out. He didn't get the elocution <laughs> anyway. No. I think what it was, I think what it ended up being was it was something to the well, elocution say teacher of the Queen's English, and you were the only one in your family who went with elocution. No, no. Oh. All of, no. Oh. Angie, Angie, Hillary, and I. So my the sisters self, did that. My sisters did. And then, but Anthony tried it a couple of times and never went and again went or had one. Yeah. And I and believe then, the story that you're trying to tell is that Anthony one day was, I think he was in the sea or something. They, and he was, they were in Spain, I think, yes. And he was having trouble swimming. Yes. And he was shouting out that he was having trouble swimming, but nobody could yes. understand him, which was yes. really like null and void of his decision because he'd chosen swimming lessons, but here he is drowning. And if he'd had yeah. elocution, he could have cried for help and had people understand him. But since he had such a thick, brummy accent, it was just sort of like, <laughs> oh, come on, guys, come on, try and go to the water and things like that. Help me. Oh, Lord. Ah. And people uh, were yeah, like, who is he? Instead. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, uh, can yes. we do a vlog style production for the future trips to Harrods? Just you and Pam wine drunk on champagne would be a treat. Well, wine drunk on oh. champagne is hard to pull off, but that's someone oh. saying one time we were talking about we could go to Harrods and drink champagne and have a good time. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that. I can't, I can't wait either. for that. No, I, I love it there. I could just go and live in there. I think I said that. At the time. Yeah, they'd have a problem with that for sure. They could just, yeah, but they could just lock me in there in the food department. I'd be so happy. They, oh. they, would not, they would not lock you in there on purpose. No, no, but I mean, if they did it by mistake, if I hear. See, this is the whole, this is your potato mentality taken into a Herod's world. You yes. just want to be locked in places where there's free food and then just live your life like Macaulay Culkin at home alone. Yes, but, it, but Harrods, it would be a life of luxury. And then I could wander upstairs into the bed department and get to sleep. I could have some new clothes. Oh, this is just, by the way, this, this results in headline, mad woman sleeps in $100 dress after eating expensive sushi at Harrods Break It. <laughs> wasn't there somebody, or was it a book I read once in America that she, um, she was, I, think, I don't know whether she was, you can't say homeless anymore, but houseless. And didn't she sleep in Walmart? Or was that a book? I don't, if that's a book, it's a really not a good book. I would guess that's closer to reality than a book. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yes. You think it was the truth? I would yeah. guess oh, the truth. I know I have something to tell you. What? Okay. This is good. What's you know, up? I said Bob Hope. And, and I thought oh, yeah. he was a Brit, And he was born in, in Birmingham. We talked well, on a previous episode about Bob Hope being from Birmingham and I laughed you out of the- You panel. laughed and you, yeah. Well, anyway, he was a Brit and he was born in Eltham in London. So I, I was partly right and partly wrong, but I just wanted you to know. But will you admit that you do have a tendency to try to uh, British size people that you like? Like you'll, if you like someone, you kind of, they, you think they might be English? Um, I, yeah, yes, poss probably, possibly, yes. Definitely. I would think yeah, along times, those. There are times Poss when you go, Yes, he's yes. English, isn't he? And I go, no, Barack yeah. Obama is not English. No. Oh. And sometimes I try to work out, when I hear somebody on the radio or the television, particularly radio, I, I think I try to decide, have they, where they've got like a mid-Atlantic accent, and I try to think, have they come to England from America and it's they've been influenced by the... English accent, or have they have they gone the other way? What was, I can't remember what I was saying. That or did they have they come from England and gone to America? Do you know right. what I mean? At which yeah. way have they bastardized their accent? Uh, exactly, exactly. Well, We're not both, but not. But Ooh. I try to work at have they are they English or are they American or? That's a great game know. show. We'll make we'll it is it. Production. That is a good one, isn't it? I don't think so. Um, now um, well, should we? <laughs> well, if somebody takes it, can I get the royalties? Absolutely. Yes. If someone flies with it. Yes. If someone flies with this idea. Is that what you say? If they fly with it. Yes. In the television business, you say, if you have an idea, you say, hey, you go fly with this. Okay. For a little All while. Right. That's sort okay. of the short. So you know the Hollywood shorthand. Oh, hey, yes. Go fly with this for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm, man, I'm, do you I'm, like that idea? Just go fly with it for a little while. Let me know if anything happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, if it's that one I just mentioned, that... Um, English or American, then that's my idea. The name of the show is Where Were You Bastardized? So, okay. Just so you know. <laughs> um, and we'll let someone fly with that. 
So let's do a couple of pictures. I have a couple, but I don't have anything too special. My plan was to okay. Okay. Do you have any All pictures? Right. Well, I, I've got I've got quite a few actually, but well, let's um, not do too many. No, but I didn't know quite what where well, to draw them. Why don't you pick four? Four. Okay. Four oh. or five. What? Is that you phoning me? No, I'm not phoning you. I'm Somebody's phoning calling you. me. Um, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Well, look. My beer is dirty. I, I, those are some of your school friends and I thought your friends might like to, not my mum of course is that my mum there in, in that's the middle? your mum and that's my friend Bill and Andy Bill yeah. who I talked to the other day and he said he heard that I'd mentioned him on something yeah, oh so well there he, is. Yeah, there he is yeah oh you did it because I know why because he used to take the photos he took the one of Bob home oh yeah maybe yeah there's that's a, actually true yeah that's probably what it is there's a big connection with Bill anyway Bill is the one on the it is it the left he's on, on, yours, he's on my right Bill, the thrill okay, buyer. Right. And then I thought, yeah. did we do that one where that was you and Nick at um, Nick's wedding with your top hats? Oh, yeah. And Flip back just a touch. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit already, how Nick and I took all the Vicodin and rode our bikes yeah. in, uh, in uh, Mo Florence. Uh, Florence, yeah. And that's you and so squeezed between two drunken maniacs on Nick's wedding day. Yes, yes. And I didn't know that you were on Vicodin either. No. So. No. Um, okay, and then did we have I shown? Did we do that one with you with the you and Ross with the Danger Mouse? No, I don't remember honestly. At this point, I think it's going to be hard for me to remember. What would be great is if you could start putting the ones we do in a pile. I did as start I said before. I know. I think I did start doing, it and then I got muddled up. Okay. Well, if we could just get a pile of these ones, that would probably be. No, I don't think they've Here seen you go. that. I've one. got. I've got one for you. Oh, let's see. Oh, god, no, I have not seen that one. Why am I so no. wet? Now pull back a little bit. I, want, I was going to ask you the same. I couldn't decide if you were wet or greasy. Mom, there's the game show. Forget the who bastardized you. There's the game show. Wet or greasy. Wet or greasy. That's the game show. I'll come in. I, I'll come. Wait, I, lower it. It's fine. I'll come out on stage and I'll just be covered in something, and people oh, will yes. get to, people will get to guess whether I'm wet or greasy. Wet or greasy. <laughs> now that's what I can fly with. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll fly yeah. with that one too, with you too. Uh, here's one I have. This is, remember when... Um, oh, yes. When Nick had me recreate the John Lennon Imagine. Yes, York, that was New York, New York, wasn't it? New York Mets oh. hat. Yeah. Were you about 10 there, do you think? I was about 10, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that was a good guess, wasn't it? Really good um, guess, It's but it's not going to come in handy on wet or greasy. No, it that isn't. sort of guessing no. is not going to do shit. No, no, because it, no, it looked, wait a minute. Okay, here's a ni nice one of you. Yes, that's me sitting on Uncle Dave's lap. Yeah, God, I look young. Yes, that is yeah. So I find it, I find it more strange. What do you think? I find it more strange to look at pictures of myself as a young adult versus a child. Like, I feel like yeah. it's strange to see your face as a grown up's age versus your entire body just sort of change. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. yes. But your your face hasn't changed. I don't think my face changed until till latterly. Um, till latterly? Yes. What is that? Yeah. Mean? Well, in the last 10, 15 years, I would say. Um, See, we have a thing with you where we think you make up words. And yeah. we recently <laughs> thought you made up pithering and dithery. No, mithering. And mithering, sorry, pithery, pith, pithery and mithering. And but we, I, no, it wasn't me, my dad, you, my mum and dad used yes, those Yes, but words. you used to say them to Nick and I when we were kids, yeah. and we would be like, yeah. you're making up words. And then we looked them yeah. up very recently, and you were very vindicated. And they did exist, yes. yes. Because yeah. I think in the old dictionaries we were looking, and we were looking at American dictionaries, and we were like, ha, 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 it's not in here. Oh, okay. well, you know, I, I got here. One day, we'll have to have a quick look in there. It was my grandmother's pears encyclopedia and it's probably 100 years old and some of the things are really funny because um when you look in it and you and you are it's something to do with the sun and it says get as much sun as you can you know getting a sun you know sun on your face is, is really that's good that's a for book you. that could not have been released in england it was released in england get yes sun. But... people were like where is it where <laughs> this is a torturous instructional guide what is this <laughs> mythical light they speak of inside of here? Where is it? Sun. <laughs> Where is it? It's a big blob of custard. <laughs> yeah, right. Sky custard. Sky custard, yeah. Um, do you uh, want to see yeah. one more? 
Yeah, yeah, and I've got it here. Well, I'll do this one real quick. This is me in uh, Charlotte's Web. I think we maybe have seen one of these already, but this is another one. Oh, yeah. Just to show. Okay. Well, also look at my physique. It's just, yes. I was destined to be, like, it's always weird when you're in plays as a kid and they make you play an adult and they give you those weird age lines on your face and stuff like that. Yes. But then it's also weird when you're like, I kind of look like I'm the father. You and look like Huckleberry Finn. Thank you, mother. Thank you. I'm not. I look like I ate huckleberry pie. Yeah, look. Oh, that's a nice one. That's, that's nice. nice of you, isn't it? It's nice of all of us. Oh, and look, who's the child? That's not Bruno, is it? That's Bruno, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yes. that's why I still have that jacket. Look at that. Do you still do have you? do you still have that sort of caveman coat you're wearing in there? No. <laughs> Dumb with that, are you? <laughs> I've I've changed countries and places too many times. Right, yeah. So what you, you have shed a, clothing? You have to be a bit ruthless. Well, you know, you've moved a few times. You have to be a bit ruthless, don't you? You have to let things go. They're just possessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want one of Nigel though, just to please everybody? Sure. Yeah. Okay. There's Nigel going. Oh bloody hell! Oh absolute yeah. crap! This pic, this photograph yeah. will be absolute shit. Who are these people at my table? I don't know God's sake, Hillary, it's time to go to bloody bed. <laughs> um, oh, you, look, you have to tell the story of this one. That's when you were in Abu Dhabi in Wales. Ah, shirtless. Shirtless shots. There's that body again. Um, that is, well, what's the story you wanted me to tell? Well, the, um, Nigel said that you would just stay in the water all so, day so and your this, fingers became like prunes. Yes, well, that happens when you submerge yourself. I, the thing is that I guess I must have been a really weird child because I, re I, I don't remember what preceded this, but I just remember going to Wales and everyone being like, oh, wow, Gareth had such a good time. Gareth was, so, I must have been <laughs> such a miserable little shit. Because everyone's like, oh, he's so happy. He's going in the water. Look at him like a normal human. It's a, it's almost like I was like an alien baby who finally was like, uh, you know, doing human activities. And you were like, he's learning. Yeah, he's learning how to be a human. Uh, I thought that was really nice because, oh, oh, and I think this is so funny. Look, okay. Look, look. Do you know what that is? Uh, that is, that's a street in Los Angeles. Well, it was so when I worked at the music school, I was the receptionist at the local music school, and they asked me. I was coming over to California, and they asked me to take a picture of the Hollywood sign, and oh that's the Hollywood. Sign. That's what you gave them. Well, I showed them that, and you got and out what of the car. They, I mean, I remember that, but that is such a horrendous. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It, take, you made anyway, it. Oh, 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 see, this I is just, why, th can I tell you something? Can I just say something what? very quickly before you say something very quickly? Yes. This is why I limit you to four or five because you go overboard and it's good. Oh, well, I just want to show you another picture of Bridge North. <laughs> oh, who gives a shit? What are you doing? This is I not like- a, Don't you think that's a lovely building? It, this is not a HGTV YouTube series. Who would say, nobody gives a shit about a building. Nick will be pleased. He's a different person. He likes Bridge North. I'm not him. This is. Yeah. I've dropped another of my treasure. Who photos. gives a shit? Just stay in frame. Wait a minute. Oh my oh, God. This is a nice picture. Look. <laughs> this that's... is endless. <laughs> Look, but isn't that a nice picture? Look, that's um, mum and my sisters, me and but my mom, sister. Remember, it is a very nice picture, but we should mm, keep this yeah. to people that we are aware of, like you, me, Nigel. Yeah, oh, but ah, but ah, but this is of great interest. Do you know why? Because I'm in this house now where that view is. That's This is my own house. Sure, right, yes. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? What's not what's, what's to not be interested in that? Um, you think it's in, it's interesting. It's interesting. Well, it's, interesting. Well, it's, interesting. it's interesting to me. It's interesting to you. I think is maybe yes. That's that's kind of what I would say. It's interesting to you, exactly. <laughs> anyway, I, sh I, I showed this one last week, didn't I? Or last time, didn't I? Yes, yeah. yes, because we did the whole story about that. Yes, we don't want to repeat that. It's boring. All right, we need to. I don't, I don't need you to jump into the producer's chair. Okay, you relax <laughs> over there. No, it's boring, Garthy. We've done that one.
Do you remember where the name Garfi came from? Yes. Do you remember when you said the name Garfi on the dollop, how much Dave lost his mind? Yes, I, well, I do. I, I do remember, yes. How do, you, how do you feel about the name Gary? Well, I think I think it's quite nice, Gareth. I don't really like Gary as much. We actually call him Garfi. Mum. <laughs> Mother. Yes, yes, I do. He thought it was hilarious, didn't he? We all knew that that was the beginning of a new era. And it stuck, didn't it? Has it stuck to this day? It's It's out there for sure. It's uh, not as much as Gary, but it's out there. But, uh, but okay, my, go ahead. Well, my sister Angie came up with it because there was a program in England that I don't think we got in the States, and I think it was called Birds of a Feather. Mm -hmm. And there was a Garfi in that. Right. And it just stuck. I mean, for years. Stuck in the like, family. In the family, it's completely stuck. Yes, yes, yeah. Mum never liked it. She said, I don't know why you call him that. His name's Gareth. Yes. Now give me the weed. I'm ready to trip balls. Yes. And am I sitting right yeah. with my bag in the right position like the queen? Very proper lady. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, lovely, Mum. I think this was a good session. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Any stand-up dates you want to promote? Are you appearing anywhere soon? Are you doing any in-person signings? Do you have any book releases, album releases? Are there any no, I, dates no, you want I'm to plug? Hold on. Are there any festivals you're doing? Any films you're in that are coming out soon? Any television programs that you're in? Any television programs that you're watching? Any recommendations in general? Any book recommendations? Any thoughts on how to cope with the madness of living a solo existence where you're surrounded by nothing but animals and you're unable to really communicate with your friends or family in a way where you can have actual human interaction or anything to eat or any recipes you've been trying out or anything that people should do as far as cooking in a kitchen during a time like this when people feel sort of stretched with time where time feels like it's going on and on forever but it's also going so so slow <gasps> well i can tell you what i cooked tonight in the fryer what? from the from the magazine that nick sent me i did i did chickpeas in parmesan cheese chickpeas in parmesan cheese they're, they're absolutely beautiful really really lovely yes okay. yes okay yeah and so you're i happy. so anyway, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with that recipe. Is so, and I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some crisps tomorrow. Potato chips. Potato I'm going to try this in there. Yes. Yeah. What was the hardest before we leave? What was the hardest word for you to adjust to saying differently from England to the states? Um, I don't think I've really bothered. I think I just spoke how I spoke, and that was it. With elocution. Um, I think probably. It's okay. Tomato. Yeah, I that's never, a tough one. No. But you still say tomato, I think, don't you? I fluctuate. I have this Aladia Baldwin thing where I, uh, it depends where, it depends. It depends how long I am. <gasps> because this is the program. English, American, American English. No, the program is wet or grease. Okay. <laughs> There's no more tweaking. We could do 15 minutes of each. No, we're not flying that one. We're only flying wet or grease. That's the show. If that show changes, I'm off of the project. Do you understand me? I understand. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, that's the Hollywood yeah. temper you've heard about. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. I guess that's why you, you wonder how I am when I'm on a date. You wonder, if, am I you know, a regular human or am I crazy? Because well, what are outbursts you? such as that. What are you on a date? Fantastic. Fantastic day. <laughs> Regular or human, though? That's not the game show. The game show is wet or grease. Okay. Yes. Right. I'm a great date. Great day. <laughs> All right. All right, mommy. Well, I think that's everything for this week. All right, then. Well, thank you. That was very nice. Thank you. That was very nice of you. And a happy new year to everybody. Happy new world. year. What and a I'm time in America. And I'm sorry about you've got Donald Trump and the riots. But we won't go there. Are, we you cut Are you going to cut that out? No, I'll cut this out. Call him Garfi. Mum. <laughs> 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 <laughs>